to what the mainstream media was too afraid to tell you about the news this week. This week, while the mainstream media obsessed over Nancy Pelosi's clapping at the State of the Union address, here are the things that happened that really matter. 76% of the American people who watched it approved of President Trump's State of the Union address, according to a CBS poll. 80% of independents approved of the president's speech, and 72% of people approved of President Trump's immigration policy. In other words, a vast majority of the American people approved of the vision for our country that President Trump laid out in his speech. It's as simple as that. That's not hard to report, right? Well, wrong. Did the mainstream media report on that? Barely. And then they immediately pivoted to Nancy Pelosi trying to distract from President Trump's success by talking about his tax returns again, and the Democratic women in Congress refusing to clap for anything but themselves. And that brings us to our next story. Only one Democrat applauded during the State of the Union when the president said, every human life, born and unborn, is made in the holy image of God. Just Joe Manchin. Every other Democrat sat stony-faced and silent. And then Senate Democrats killed a resolution to protect babies who are born alive after botched abortions. And then Nancy Pelosi said it's a sad thing to allow to outlaw late-term abortion, even though 81% of Americans want it outlawed. But did the mainstream media tell you any of this? Did you see any headlines about how many Democrats refused to applaud for good things at the State of the Union? No, no, you did not. President Trump's judicial nominee to fill Kavanaugh's old spot on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals was attacked for her religious beliefs during her Senate confirmation hearing this week. Naomi Rao was interrogated by Senator Cory Booker, Spartacus himself. Booker asked Rao, do you think homosexual relationships are immoral, sinful, and have you ever had an LGBTQ law clerk? Now Rao squashed Booker politely by saying she hasn't been a judge, so she doesn't have law clerks. But my question is, what is Booker hoping to achieve with these questions? If he's trying to disqualify Rao from the judiciary based on a religious belief on marriage, that's unconstitutional. Article 6, Clause 3 of our Constitution reads, and I quote, But no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. But did the mainstream media report on the unconstitutional line of questioning, the religious bigotry coming from Democratic Senator Cory Booker? Oh no, the mainstream media said nothing. Newly minted CNN contributor and Democratic darling Andrew Gillum, the man who lost to now Governor Ron DeSantis in the Florida gubernatorial race in 2018, he has been found by an ethics commission to probably be in violation of the law over gifts he accepted from lobbyists. The commission found probable cause on five of the six counts. All of the counts are regarding trips Gillum took with a lobbyist to Costa Rica and New York. The alleged gifts include tickets to the Broadway musical Hamilton and tourist activities. Gillum denies these charges, so next up will be a public hearing. But there are emails that show Gillum knew what he was accepting when he accepted it. So did the mainstream media tell you this story? Oh no, they did not. If anything, they just mentioned that Gillum denies guilt. They did not tell you about the probable cause or why. And also, payrolls surged by 304,000 in January. More jobs created thanks to the Trump administration boosting the economy by cutting taxes and cutting regulations. Thanks to the Trump administration, more Americans are now working. But the mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that is my final point. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.